I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to evaluate algebraic expression when the values are given in decimal numbers. Evaluate for a equals to 2.4 and b equals to 4.2. We have four expressions here. The first one is b minus a, second one is 2 times a minus b, then 3 times b minus a, 3 times a minus 2b. So whenever you evaluate, you need to substitute the value of the variable and then evaluate. So here b is 4.2, a is 2.4, so we can substitute their values. b is 4.2, so I'm writing 4.2 for b, a is 2.4, 2.4 for a. The operation being performed is take away. So we'll do 4.2 minus 2.4 to get our answer, right? So that becomes the value of the expression given to us. Now 4.2 take away 2.4, you need to borrow from 4, so you get 12. When you get 12, taking away 4 leaves you with 8. When you borrowed, this became 3, right? So 3 take away 2 is 1, you get 1.8 as your answer. You could also do it separately on the side. So you could do 4.2 take away 2.4. Now you need to borrow. So when you borrow from 4, it becomes 3 and that becomes 12. So 12, when you take away 4, you get 8. Align the decimals, correct? And then take away 2 from 3 to get 1. So whenever you're working with, with decimal numbers, align the decimals to get the right answer and then do the needful, right? So let's continue. Let's do part 2. Now here we have 2 times a minus b this time. So 2 times a and a is 2.4. So let me write this value in bracket. Minus b. So we'll do minus 4.2, right? Minus 4.2. So in the first step, substitute the value given to you for the variable. So a is 2.4, b is 4.2. Now let us perform the multiplication. We get 4.8 minus 4.2. Now 4.8 minus 4.2 is, you can do it on the side, it is 8 take away 2 in the decimal position, so the tenth place, 0 0.6 is your answer, right? You could do it on the side, you can say 4.8, there is no harm, right? So always ensure that you get the right answer. Align decimals. Once you align decimals, then it's kind of normal, just place the decimals, right? 8 take away 2 is 6, 4 take away 4 is 0. So 0 0.6 is your right answer. Let's continue. So we have 3 times within brackets b minus a. b is 4.2, right? So 4.2 and a is 2.4, right? So I'm just writing those variables in different thing so that you understand how we got these values. These are from here, correct? So we get 3 times. 4.2 minus 2.4 is 1.8, so I'm using that value at present. Otherwise, you need to find it, right? Now, multiply by 3. Remember, whenever you multiply decimal numbers, it is like a normal multiplication, but decimal will be after the first number on your right. 3 times 8 is 24, 4, and we get 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5 one decimal place so one decimal place so that is how you can multiply the decimal number and get the answer correct some of you can actually do it like this which is 1.8 times 3 3 times 8 is 24 4 2 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5 and since there is one number after decimal we place the decimal right there okay the next one is equals to 3 times a and a is given to us as 2.4, right? So 2.4 minus 2 times b, so minus 2 times b is 4.2, 4.2. You can actually pause the video, do it yourself and then check your answer. So let's multiply first by 3. 3 times 4 is 12, 2, 1. 3 times 2 is 6 and 1, 7. So we get 7.2 minus 2 times this is 8. 4, right so we get 7.2 minus 8.4 so the negative number in this case is higher so you are expecting to get a negative answer right how do you do this takeaway so what we will do here is 
we will write negative number first and then take away from the negative number right so 8.4 is negative plus 7.2 so plus we have to find the difference right and the answer is going to be negative for us since the negative number is bigger so when you take away 2 from 4 align the decimal that's the first step then you get 2 and when you take away 7 from 8 you get 1 so the answer is minus 1.2 so minus 1.2 so some of you need to go through the integers right and then do this operation I hope it works for you you could also apply the strategies which you have learned in integers you could write 8.4 as combination of 7.2 and 1.2 to get the answer that's another way of doing it right anyway that is how you do or evaluate algebraic expressions using decimal numbers and we do have integers involved here so that you review the concepts of integers also. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.